Hey all you cats, it's Trinity here, and today we're going to talk about the firmament. You may or may not know about it. The firmament is located in uh, the foundation that's right off of it. It's for crafting and gathering and other activities. Um, so we're going to talk about how to get in there and then what kinds of items there are for you um, that might be of interest. So in order to get over there, you need at least a level 10. And I went ahead and did a level 10 um, botanist because I actually like gathering quite a bit. Some people don't and they'd rather make food or, you know, weapons or clothes or potions. There's lots of options out there. I chose uh, botany. It's very quick to level up. Doesn't cost you one penny. Um, and what you do is it's like the first three quests or so um, that you need to do and then just pick everything that you see that's new and that will get you up in no time. So the, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to foundation and that's where we're going to start the quest line. If you're a big uh, fan of Heaven's Word, this is a great place to be. And one thing I would recommend is if when you go to this area, I would register this as a favorite destination. Or if you're a lot of free destination, which I'm not because I don't meet the criteria. So favorite just means it's cheaper when you come over here. And you will come over here a lot if you'd like to do these activities. These are, of course, um, side things. You don't They're not required, but you might want to try them out. So you need to get the recruitment notice that's, that's right over by the etherite called Towards the Firmament. And then we're going to go ahead and start. The workers sought the firmament reconstruction project for in small letters it continues. Let it be known the large scale reconstruction work aimed at revitalizing the Holy Sea of Ishgard has been approved by the Houses of Lords and Commons. Selected as a principal site for the project is the firmament district which sustained extensive damage during the war. Willing and able hands are now sought to contribute to the reconstruction effort regardless of birth or origin. From those skilled in gathering from the land to those adept in creating with their hands the projects in need of great our need needs are great and diverse. Contributions will not go unrewarded. Interested parties are invited to present themselves in the firmament. So it tells us that we know, need to go to Thomlin in the broom, which we're going to go do right now. So here's the broom. You should be um, through level 60 on your main storyline to get here and then have a level 10 of some sort, and I have the gatherer. A little bit more about the firmament. It started in uh, patch 5.11, and um, it has several areas and things you can do, lucrative things you can um, purchase and resell or use for yourself. Special events just for you. Well met friend, answering the call of the firmament are you? Wonderful, wonderful. Wait, I know you're, you're the savior of Ishgard. Are you saying that you would contribute to the reconstruction project? Yes, I'm ready, willing, and able. To think that a fabled hero such as you would help rebuild our city. We are grateful beyond words. There is <clears throat> one trifling matter. Do you perchance possess a work permit? It's required for non-Ishgardians, you see. Nope. Is that so? As I recall, you are the ward of Haas for attempts, in which case perhaps an exception can be made. Alas, I don't have the authority to make such decision. Well, I do, and I believe the permit can be overlooked in her case. Lord Overseer, that you should grace us again. 
Greetings, my friend. It's been quite a while. Indeed, I shouldn't be surprised if you'd forgotten me. See the test here? Why, of course I haven't forgot you. I'm honored I am that you should remember me. Much and more has happened since first we met, not least of all the war's end and Ishgard's transformation. It feels like an age ago that you and Lord Hoshaphant saved me from a heretic's fate. You have proven your worth to me. Even so, little did I expect you would save our entire nation. You are a hero to us, and no amount of words could express my gratitude. No, only the, through action could I begin to pay, repay your debt. Thus I did resolve to do my part for Iskard, that I might honor the noble souls who risked their life and limb to protect the nation, souls such as you and Lord Hoshaphon. Man, bring him into this. And so, when an overseer was being sought for the restoration project, I put forth my candidacy as a representative of my house. Our workshops and engineers could be put to good use, I reasoned. It was by no means unanimous, but the Fury saw fit to select me in the office. Honored I am for this opportunity to serve the nation and to redeem House Hollenar's good name. Owing the contribution of artisans hailing from far and wide, we have accomplished our goal of rebuilding the district. However, we are still shorthanded in the area of administration, on account of which I have been performing such odd tasks as I could. Which is what brings me here today, as a matter of fact. I am about to go survey our citizens in order to learn what they envision for the firmament. If you can spare a moment, might I have the pleasure of your company? While I travel, well traveled as you are, your opinion would be a great interest to me, and I believe folk would be more willing to share their thoughts with you. You have my gratitude, and without further ado, let's take ourselves into the jeweled crozier. We are bound to find diverse assortment of people there. Now we need to go back to the jeweled crozier to talk to passersby. Join Frankel as he surveys passersbys to learn their opinion on the firmament. As the survey may take several minutes, you may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. Well, well, I come here to get supplies for the watch, and what should I find but a familiar face? And if that ain't pretty lad you've got with you, little, and highborn one to the sides, you've done well for yourself. You know me, I always aim high. It's not what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. I'm teasing is all. Any road. It's good to see you, my friend. What brings you here? Lady Hilda, your, re your, your reputation precedes you. As you may be aware, approval was recently passed for the restoration of the firmament. In order to build a district that best serves its residents, we would, we would know what good citizens such as yourself envision it for it. Will you not share your thoughts with us? Ah, so you're one of the Pointed overseer. Well, then, you won't mind if I speak freely. Now, this ain't hardly revolutionary, but I want the firm remote to be a place where we can all make an honest living, where a man works hard enough, he can have a roof over his head and food in his belly. Aye, might be as the war's over, 
But for a lot of us, the struggles continue same as before. The sort of struggles Blue Buds would never know. Remember, Ishgar don't belong only to the high and holy now. For the nations to prosper, all the citizens need to prosper. Well, we must be, be getting on. But if you need guards of any sort, feel free to send word. The coin's fair, and I reckon we come to an arrangement. Uh, that is Lord uh, Briarden. I heard that he was traveling to the realm in his capacity as consulting inspector, but it appears he's returned to Ishgard. Like your good self, he is a well-traveled individual, and I should like to inquire after his opinion. Do you suppose we could beg a moment of his time? Head nod. A moment, good inspector. Oh, his eye, his glasses in the light. If it is inspector you seek, I shan't find one more capable. Indeed, you could find do worse, far worse. Lord Briarden, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Franco de Hallionard, and I have the honor of overseeing the reconstruction of the firmament. As you know, there are intimate, as you are intimately familiar with the city-states of Eorzea, and I should be much obliged for your insights. In your expert opinion, what is one thing you believe the firmament needs most? Hmm. If the district is to thrive, then it must have a thriving economy. As I have oft observed in my travels, the flow of goods and people is the lifeblood to a city and should be encouraged. Ishgard has long been insular, but recent changes present a great opportunity. Given the right planning, I am hopeful that ours may become a nation where no citizen lives in want. I bid you the very best in your endeavors, and should you have need of my investigative powers, prowess, do not hesitate to call upon me by your leave. Who else? Oh, there, old boy. Well, looky, looky, it's our ball ballroom dancing boy. He ran over. Lil, I was wondering when you would notice me. Ever a pleasure to see you, old girl. And if it wasn't my dear Lord Frankel, how fares your lovely sister? Has she perchance spoken of me of late? If Lynette has spoken of you, I fear it has not been in our conversations. Now, if I may change the subject, Lord Emmeline, you have heard the restoration of the ferment has commenced. Is there aught that you envision for the district? What I envision? I can't say I've given it much thought. Well, with the war finally come to an end, what is, the, what is in order, if not festivities? Yes, make the firmament a festive place, I say, a place where one and all may engage in revelry each and every day. Big pardons, my lord, but I believe Lord Frankel seeks something more specific and, dare I say, constructive. <laughs> no, no, the advice comes from the heart, and I shall take it to heart. You have my gratitude, Lord Emmeline. Always a pleasure to aid fellow man. Now then, we must be on our way. Take care, little, and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, and Lord Frankel, do send my fondest regards to your sister. Tell her how very helpful I was. Yes, that would be good. Well, I dare say we have spoken to enough people. Shall we conclude our surveying and review what we have learned? Sure. Thanks to your presence, we will be able to hear a diverse variety of opinions. Each one has merit. The question is whether the visions can be made a reality. 
No, no, such pessimism will not serve. I must have faith and try my earnest best. Now then, for all this talk of the firmament, you haven't even seen it, have you? Would you care to inspect it with me? I will be there for a while hence, so please join me at your leisure. Tomlin will be at the entrance to show you the district. Uh, and when you see the man, would you mind giving him this? It's his bone-chilling work, standing there as he does, and it's a little something to keep him warm. I could easily hand it to him, to be sure, but it would be all the more warming coming from the savior of Ishgard. With that, I shall go on ahead. See you in the firmament, my friend. And off we go. Back to the broom. Welcome back, my lady. Will you be heading into the firmament? Okay, let me give you some good mulled wine. From the Lord Overseer, you say, he is truly too kind. Before I began working under Lord Frankel, I had thought of little as little of highborns as I assumed they thought us commoners. But the Lord not only treats everyone as equals, he shows kindness to everyone. And to receive this gift from the hands of the Savior of Ishgard, I am touched beyond words. <laughs> Thank you, milady. I shall enjoy the wine when I find a quiet moment. Now then, I believe Lord Franco is expecting you in the firmament. Just say the word, and I will show you through. So this is the main area. Now, in order to turn this quest in, you have to be higher than I am. So I'm going to go back to my regular spec to finish this. Magic. There you are, little. I bid you welcome to the firmament. As you can see, the rebuilding itself is complete, but this is just the beginning. However, we must now turn our attention to the running of the district. We have much and more, but speaking to the people has stoked the fires of my determination. I want to make their firmament into a vibrant, thriving district where Highburn and Lowburn alike may live side by side in harmony. Yet I would be lying if I were to say ta the task does not daunt me. There is a limit to what I can achieve, especially given House Helenad's diminished influence. Have it come at a bad time? C Count Edmund. To what do we owe the honor? Lest you forget, I am the Count de Fortemps no more. I'm just a retired old man. As for my presence here, Emmeline reported that Lilo is in Ishgard, and I thought it would make a social call. You will forgive my eavesdropping, but it seems the re reconstruction project is not immune to the uncertainty that has accompanied our nation's transition to a republic. Lil, I'm giving you to understand that other nations have established residential districts for an adventure use. Is this true? Yes, I have one, a house in one such places. There are districts specific for an adventure use. You possess an abode in such place? I would like to pay you a visit one day, my friend. The truth is our nation is divided by a gulf. While the redistribution of wealth may go some ways towards closing this gulf, it shall not be lead to true independence for the masses. We must ask ourselves, in this new age in which we live, what role should each of us play? 
In pondering this dilemma, I believe we may draw inspiration from adventurers and their independent lives. Independent lives, fun size. If we were to translate this in the firmament, it might not assume it was in the form of a self-administration. It seems you have found a spark, in which case this old man's ramblings have served their purpose, and I shall pray for your success, Lord Frankel. Your words are a beacon in the Lord, my beacon in the dark, my Lord. Thank you. Well. Lil, you seem to be occupied at the present, so I will leave you at your tasks. But when we, next we meet, I hope to be regaled with your recent adventures. And ever, our Four Trumps Manor is at your disposal, should you need rest. You done tonkle Franco? Because I'm itching to meet our hero friend. Yes, forgive me for the wait. Lowell, permit me to introduce Ogbert, formerly an engineer of our house. Now he serves as the project's chief foreman. It is thanks to his leadership on site that I'm able to focus my energies on the administrative aspects of the reconstruction. Frankel's told me all about you, Lil. First you saved the whole bleeding nation, and now you've come to help us rebuild it brick by brick. What can I say except it's great to have you on board? If you have any questions about work, I'll be happy to fill them. Just save the tedious stuff for the budget, will you, Frankel? Speaking of which, if you can spare another moment, my friend, I should consult you on administrative matters. With all the tasks demanding my time, I cannot always be present on site, but I endeavor to visit them as often as possible, and I hope you can see, often see you too. You now have access to the firmament. An option has been added to teleport here from the foundation etherite. Speak with Ogbert to learn about how you may contribute to the reconstruction effort. So now you're gonna get a small tour of this area. This is the main area. And if you look at the map, There are several places to go. A lot of these will be related to the story and opening up different things. So let's go ahead and get started with Ogbert. Right, Lil, if you're gonna lend us a hand, a little ex explanation is in order. First thing I want you to talk about the Sky Builders board. Most of what's written here are for newcomers, though I reckon it never hurts for even veterans to give it a look from time to time. Besides, besides that, we try to keep a record of our progress to date and it might guide us to going forward. Now let's talk about the work itself. The main thing is we need our artisans to do is provide us with supplies. On that topic, I reckon it's quicker if you speak with Podkin over there and run along to introduce yourself to him. Ah, my lady Lil. The chief foreman mentioned that you'd be helping us. It's my pleasure to explain the work to you. Though the reconstruction effort has itself complete, we remain in need of supplies for maintenance and upkeep of the firmament. The items you donate will be put to use for building inspection and repair, as well as provide necessary services to all those who call the district home. Items you wish to donate can be brought to myself. Feel free to ask me any time about what we seek. Naturally, you'll be rewarded with contributions. Depending on the item, we'll present you with an amount of Sky Builder scripts. Oh, and should you mention that you've introduced an initiative to provide additional incentive and excitement to collaborators such as your good self. The initiative takes place in the form of a game of chance called Kubo of Fortune. Permit me to give you a brief overview. When you donate certain items to us, you will receive a stamp on your voucher. Once you have collected five stamps, you may take the voucher to Elizabeth for a chance to win a splendid prize. 
If you wish to know more, I recommend you talk to Elizabeth herself. If you are interested in Coupo Nuts, I'm afraid I cannot assist, but if you're interested in Coupo of Fortune, I've come, you've come to the right place, Coupo. If it please you, I'll explain how the game works. Upon each Coupo of Fortune, there are four hexagons depicting a treasure chest provided courtesy of your Moogle friends. Plain is simple. You scratch open a chest of your choice. If the chest holds something from the first to fourth prize, congratulations. The fabulous item shows on the prize list is yours. But be fairly warm, a ferocious beast lies in wait in the hapless treasure hunters. Should you find the griffin instead, you must console yourself with a consolation prize. Now for some important details. The chest on the left holds only second and third and fourth prizes. Meaning while you cannot win the first place, neither is there a danger of finding the griffin. The three chests on the right can hold any four prizes such as the griffin and the griffin. Meaning, while you have a chance to reap in the richest reward, you may also walk away with a paltry prize. Which side of the scratch will you open is entirely up to you. As the prices offer an, of change in time you play, offer changes each time you play, be sure to cast an eye over the prize list before trying your luck. That concludes the explanation. You wish to review the rules, I will post the information on the Sky Builders board, so please refer it at your leisure. Oh, and may I ask if you've been informed about exchanging Sky Builder scripts? If not, I urge you to talk to Eni over there for details. Welcome, Milady. Your, on your honor, you honor us with not only your presence, but your contribution besides. Now you may have heard of contributing to the cause earns you sky builder scripts. This may be brought here to exchange for a selection of wares. We endeavor to expand the range of items offered that we might continue to attract contributors even now that the construction effort itself has been completed. Aside from donating items, you may earn scripts to bring in materials gathered by the diadem. Have you been informed about these perchance? If not, Flossbassant will be able to furnish you with the particulars. Meanwhile, I shall look forward to exchanging many scripts with you. You can see some of the items you can get in here. When some wallflower sells for like half a mil, a lot of these you can look up on universalis.app. There should be, there's, well, I think there's dyes in here in this one, no. So they have quite a few items there you can exchange. Oop. Let's see, where do I go next? My Lady Lil. What an honor. How may I serve you this day? You have a mind to employ your gathering skills for the benefit of the restoration effort, you say? Marvelous, marvelous. It shall be my pleasure to provide you with an explanation of our work. As you are doubtless aware, the firmament construction demands a veritable mountain of materials. In order to meet these needs, it was decided that we would harness the diadem's abundance of resources. Able gatherers such as your good self may venture forth to these isles and bring back materials to be used in the firmament's reconstruction. Given the nature of the isles, however, we must make certain that the materials found here are not, shall we say, tainted. Before we put them to use, to that end, we ask you to bring the items you have gathered to myself for inspection. Those items are deemed as safe will be returned to you with a seal of approval. Lest you wonder, yes, fish are subject to inspection. By your puzzled expression, I see you struggle to fathom what use restoration is with fish. You see, fish inhabited the diadem are known to consume unusual things. Through inspection, we determine what creature holds resources in its belly. Once this is confirmed, you may help yourself to the bounty with a quick spot of desynthesis. Now then, you are surely curious as to what, what you stand to gain from your troubles. In recognition of the dangers of the diadem, we offer sky builder scripts in a way of recompense. 
Furthermore, all materials you find are yours to do with it you please. For whether you choose to sell them to crafters or craft with them yourself, they will ultimately benefit the reconstruction. And that concludes my explanation. If you have a mind to travel to the diadem for this ember, pray present yourself to Lord Avrel beside me for further information. Ah, oh, my little lady. Well, you are welcome. I take it you have received an overview of our part in the restoration effort. It should be my pleasure to appraise you of all the details. As you are doubtless aware, the diadem is a land where the ether is in constant flux. This phenomenon gives rise to ever-changing environment. But if this, there has been one cons constant, it is the isles have always teemed with savage creatures. Yet when I recently journeyed to the investigate to to investigate. <clears throat> a change in the ether should what I find with the population of dangerous fauna has markedly decreased. Never has it been easier to avail ourselves of the diadem's bounty. Seeing the potential for this development in Ishgard, I presented this discovery to our nation's leaders, who wasted no time in designating the Isles as an official foraging ground for restoration project. And now we seek those versed in the field of foraging to travel to the diadem and bring back resources needed for the firmament's reconstruction. Lest you worry that pickaxes, hatches, and fishing rods provide poor protection against those creatures that still lurk on the isles. Never fear, we have the measures to keep our valued volunteers safe. Behold the Aetheromic Augur. Conceived by none other than my lord Stevanian, this ingenious contraption is a marvel of personal protection and resource procurement, permit me to explain. As you know, the islands, the Isles of Diadem are replete with aether. The auger gradually absorbs it as you go about your foraging. Once you have sufficient aether restored, you may unleash the compressed blast of it against hapless fiend, and presto, the creature is now a bounty of the resources. And there you have it, armed with the auger, we ask that you gather and bring back resources from the Diadem. It couldn't be simpler. But you think my lord brother's creation should benefit from my venture, in which turn serve to aid the efforts of your younger brother, all which benefit our nation. Proud I am to call myself Hilinart. But come, friend, we mustn't dally. While honor and glory await, let us set forth to the diadem at once, is what I would say, but for the sake of formality, I am required to introduce to somebody. Behind you, across from the kitchen, there stands Lord Ludovrant, hailing from a long line of scholars, the man has a gift for numbers and is charged with tallying skyward scores. If, if you've mind to lend us your procuring prowess, you would do well to speak with him. Too bad I can't jump on that. I see them, yes, I see them. The threads of fate entwine us, binding us together strongly as chains of my mithril. <laughs> Long have I waited to come, the coming of one such as you. My apologies. I am wont to become excited in the presence of a peerless artisans. My name is Ludovrent, and I have the honor of tallying the skyward scores. In order to accord greater recognition to our collaborators, we have begun keeping records of your contributions in the restoration effort. By donating items that are exceptionally difficult to obtain or craft, you will earn an amount of skyward points. Now the reconstruction effort itself is over. We have shifted our focus to collecting essential items necessary for daily maintenance and upkeep. As such, I continue to tally accumulated scores of our sky builders. Past various points of threshold, it would be our pleasure to reward you with an assortment of gifts as a token of our thanks for your efforts. Should you wish to know your current score at any time, you only need to speak with me. If you wish to know more, I would be happy to assist. For the sake of good form, however, I may trouble you to first report back to Chief Foreman Augbert. Certainly. To go back to our man. There you are. I trust you got a grasp of how things work around here now. And if you if you need to review something, the Sky Builders Board is good for that. Say, if you got a knack for gathering resources, I reckon you ought to have a chat with Arvel. What he said is the bounties would be of interest, and that's all from me now. 
I'll let you run along, but let me just say, for the famous hero like yourself, here on the ground, you're a good, you're a good sort, Lil. Let's look at this board. So there are several things in here I'm not going to read. These are all reviews of it. Feature large scale games and you'll see them when they're available. Let me see what else we got here. I think they're the same. Yeah. There's only one click on there. Okay. So I, you can continue and maybe we will at another time continue with the storyline because the storyline here is rather sweet and cool. But what I want to show you right now is how you can earn scripts as a gatherer. So you're going to go over here. Maybe put my gear on. Oops, wrong one. Here we go. You talk to Arvel. Has anyone spoken of materials of current reconstruction phase? Almost in commonplace, can readily be had in unique project needs. I can hardly mention that resources found in the diadem. Rather than each name and every one of them, I shall write a list in your log that you may peruse at your leisure. Okay, so the gathering log has been updated. I took a liberty of verifying your skills and by all account you are an accomplished gatherer. It shall be my pleasure to show you the diadem. Now we've unlocked the diadem, which is for botanists, miners, and when you're high enough fishing. You have to be level 10 in order to use this, which most times you can get fairly quickly. So, um, a little ever cipher surprise. We will be traveling to the diadem today, and you can ask about it. You can ask about those things, but when you travel it, it basically puts you in a duty. You can go in with friends or by yourself. Now, if you're high enough in free company, you can get survival handbooks, which will help you level faster. But since I haven't done that on this character, we're just going to go with food. <laughs> What's nice about that, it is very convenient. You're not looking and looking for things. There's the auger. And then what happens when you kill it is you get all the mats from it. to follow the um, follow the way you can fly in here by the way and we're looking for items which would show up just like they would on a map let's see what kind of food do I got anything I'll go with orange juice whoops this now. I don't have a, a, t a what tool? Bad thing about being short. Ah, I need an offhand tool. And I don't have a scythe. Okay, I must not have done that quest. Alright, we'll go do that in a second, but I think I can still do this one. So here you want to always pick the thing that's 100%. So 
so that you you can you won't get anything of these and you'll get experience. So we're gonna go ahead and hit enable quick gathering. See how fast that's going? It will go slower at higher levels, obviously. All right, let's let's go out and go get my tool. <laughs> I thought I had both of them on, so that was on me. The only bad thing about here is that you do not have a way to purchase on a market board. You do have a way to get to your retainers, but not the market board, which I feel is, um, you know, a little off. So let's go get one. I'm sure I can get one over the Jewel Crochet. I need a scythe. back down to Ishkar here because I want to take the uh, firmament length that's off of the main aetherite. Back we go. Mahogany logs. You can either be on flight or you can just grab this. I'll take you to the next one. It's rather convenient. You can fly there if you want, but I'm probably not going to. things and if you see up here in the upper left hand corner is the compressed aether and when you get one bar you can shoot it once 
you don't have to do it immediately, but you you can just wait until it fills up that many and just shoot that many animals. Especially if you're looking for something particular. Each animal will give you different things. Um, you know, like rocks can have more mining materials. Um, the bombs have a lot more uh, sort of in-between materials. I'll show you when we do one. So there's usually a few. Some places have more than others. before we take the tornado. Now since I've been here and I've done three islands, I've leveled two levels. The convenience of having one spot to do this is immeasurable. As your levels go up your I think it's like every 10 so like at 20 I'll have another one that I can choose and a lot of these things can be sold very easily because the sky builders approved items are used a lot in the crafting recipes And I have an auger that's ready. Switches. At lower levels, it takes not too long to get another level. Let's count this time. This will take me to the next level. Okay. One, two, and that's going to be a little bit less. Max. There's ten total.
So it looks like the true four that I'm getting right now are sesame, hemp, switches, and logs that can be sold. Now the kicker about these is, and a little bit of an annoyance on my part, I think, because it can be, you have to be staying on top of organizationally, is that it will do them in groups, so if you have a couple extra, it won't certify them, which I feel is huge pain. Because you can have like three of this, and two of this, and one of this left. It's like, it's like cereal and milk. They never come out even. So you either have to just dump the materials or they stay in your bags forever. Which in this day and age, unless you want to have a zillion... I don't want to manage those. Let's just put it that way. I'm almost up to two ethers now. So now... About four of those and I'm up to the next one. Now what's nice about in here is it doesn't care what your gear score is or your item level. You can um, you can wear this gear forever until you hit until you go on the outside. And the de the diminishing returns started about sixty to seventy, but coming in here is not just for leveling, but for gathering the scripts for other items is what keeps people coming back. Let's say you wanted ballroom etiquette wall, uh, winsome wallflower, which is basically uh, leaning against the wall, but a lot of people use them in um, RP events, like uh, clubs or other areas, and so it's a highly desired uh, learnable ballroom etiquette. There's other things like reading a book that's also pretty valued. So since we've been talking, I'm just about ready to hit seven levels that I've gotten just for in a few minutes. Now it won't go that fast all the time, but um, it's nice to have it. I go backwards. Sometimes they get turned around in here. So for every hit, you see that your compressed ether increases. In the last 15 minutes, because I ate food when I came in here, I've gone up seven levels. Now, as you can see, there are animals around here that you can shoot. But there is also islands of the same animals. So if you would like a specific animal because you want those mats, especially if you're crafting or if you know they're higher valued items, which sell for more money, then you can um, go to those specific islands, which we're gonna go to a specific island here in a second. Uh, maybe after this one. I'm just waiting for that ether to go up to three. Cool. 
close. Just don't forget to um, do these before you leave because you're just wasted. All right, so let's go to an island. So there's a lot of islands around here. This one is not cooked to anything. There's also some, let's go to these ones up top. Way out of the way. shoot a couple of animals, different animals here. What's nice, well this is actually a pick one. Huh, okay. That's actually what I impulsively need to do. Um, this is not one of those aisles. Let me try a different one. You just gotta find one that's actually not for picking. This one looks like it might not be. That one, that's the first time I've seen an island by itself. Like that, have actual picking on it. Let me try a couple of these and see if there's anything on this one. Might be. There's a fishing one. Some places that you go for fishing holes, and that is one of them. And this, I think, is actually taking me back to the beginning. Well, well. This isn't it, we're just gonna use auger and I'll have to find it another time. Okay, here's one. This has all diadem beasts on it and maybe another one, but you can see how there's nothing to pick. So let's do this one. So you just target them. And I get uh, iron ore, sky builders ore, beetroot sand, and blue spirit ore. And I'm just gonna, yeah, let's try this one too. Show me what a sprite does. And there's several kinds, ice sprite, etc. Lightning clusters, lightning crystals, and lightning uh, shards. So I think I'm gonna get a few more of those. There's another one. Let's try it again. I 
ice clusters, crystals, and shards. So they'll give you just not the one for them, but it could be fire or ice or whatever. So if you're looking to farm a few more of those, there you go. There are also other, you can see here's um, werewoods, which give you more botany related things. But it really is not for farming, it's for uh, using that auger. There's nothing on here to farm. So when you're finished, let's go and turn our items in. So you just leave the duty. And then you go to the inspector and turn them in. So we're auto submitting them. And a request inspection. We had some items that came in the other way. So we're going to do this one. And now I have those items to sell, and I've received 43 Sky Builder scripts here. So if we go over there should be another guy here or here for feet tokens were the event which if you look over here it's in one day 10 hours and 16 minutes it's feats that are just in this area and they're little games that you play where you collect things and turn them in and then you get prizes. You get little packages, and sometimes they have great things in them. Sometimes they're just, you know, fun things. But those feet tokens can be turned in for dyes, and these are very, these are rare dyes that usually people have to buy with real money. You can do materia. You can do some of the, these are kind of what I don't do, which are the house magic prisms. They don't do it for me. You can also get a Peace Lovers offer, uh, tire coffer, which you can wear yourself or you can sell. Same with Antelope Staghorn. Some of the things that I've gotten in feats have been like a uh, apron rack, which I think I sold for 90k. You can also get gear and furnishings, different things. Let's say you want. Um, a coverall top. There's the top. A singlet. Apron. Coverall bottoms. Leather shoes. Helmet. There's another singlet. What is the difference? That's diable. Is this one? Yeah. Maybe it's because it doesn't have the extra stuff. Yeah. This one you're tying your thing around. It's got a bunch of items on it. A lot of our Peters will probably get this one. Oops. And if you look at how it's, because it looks a little dingy right now. But, you know, black or another color is probably pretty desirable. Gloves, bottoms, boots, which also, you know, go over pretty well. I know my tiny little feet don't do them justice. There are also other costume coffers, which you can look up and see what they are. Stuffed items for your housing. Any of these items in blue are for housing. Let's see, and materials and materia items. Different items that you can get. Also dyes are here. So for a hundred of these, I could get one of these dyes. And some of these sell very well in the market or maybe you just want them for yourself. Cherry pink is a big one. So go ahead and see what the, your market's like and decide from there.
So the last step we'll do is we're gonna go to the market board and see what these things are worth. No, I'm going here. I forgot it's my venture, <laughs> my uh, retainers. Now you can only sell approved items, so let's see what the iron ore goes for. Not much, not worth it. We just sell that. Sky Builders ore, better. Let's go this way. How about Mithril Sand? Not bad. So that's a no. Mm, we got people messing around with it. I probably wouldn't do it right now. Um, blue Sprite Ore. 249. Not bad. Hemp. Also not good right now. Man, some of these aren't doing well. These fluctuate in the market, so you have to decide if you'll hold on to them or not. Some of them are okay. See, we got people trying to prowl this stuff through. Sesame. 97. Okay. Sometimes if you're out here grinding a lot, you can get a lot of stuff uh, going on. I got these. I don't want them. This is a gatherer only, not a crafter, and that's... Um, Double check that. So I put those up on the market and see if they sell. Again, I'm not out anything. I'm using it for experience and everything I make off of it is a benefit. So then you have to decide if you want to keep this stuff. Or keep rid of it. I'm just going to keep it for now. So that is the opening of the firmament. When I get a chance and we have some feats to do, I'm going to go ahead and stream that coming up. And then we'll probably continue the storyline if you're interested. Drop me a follow, send me a message. Um, that would be awesome. And with that, I think we'll go ahead and finish for the day. I thank you for coming and listening and learning about the firmament and the diadem. Stay cool.